Needle nose? Why you gotta make fun of his nose? You're mean. You're all mean. Hey! What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Legacy Evolution Deluxe Class Needle Nose. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Right up front here, we got Needle Nose looking all needle nosy. His name is Needle Nose Legacy Evolution Transformers. He is a Deluxe Class, Class Deluxe, Deluxe Class, Class Deluxe, Class A Deluxe on this side of the box. We have of the lovely legacy evolution artwork on this side we have some more nice artwork of needle nose close up hey pictures things stuff on the top qr code you want to scan it go ahead free scan on me on the bottom words things barcodes on the back of the box you have your obligatory product shots evo fusion and that's basically it for the packaging and moving right along, here we have Needle Nose, a rather obscure character, for me anyway, in this legacy line. Yes, here he is in his robot mode. I do think it looks quite, quite good, in my opinion. I do quite dig his design. But let's get in close here so we can take a look, not at his abs, but at his noggin. There's the noggin. And you can see we got a nice dark gray for the helmet, red for the eyes, yellow there for the mouth plates. The rest of the chest done in a lighter gray. We have multiple shades of gray, not 50 shades, but a couple different shades of gray. The Decepticon symbol right there on the chest. Some nice molded detail there. The arms done in purple. His underwear done in blue. And the gray legs. Got some gray paint here on his knees. Got a nice like, teal color going on there on the shins. His big old feet. And moving up the back, you, know, you have the cockpit just kind of hanging down there, as cockpits do. But yeah, no. All in all, though, not too bad. Not too bad. You know, pretty much a jet pack, ba a jet backpack going on. Easy for me to say. A bit of a jet backpack going on there. But all in all, not too shabby in my opinion. Now, articulation wise, oh, the head is on a ball joint, so you get a little bit of wiggly waggly. I can only look up slightly. This thruster is kind of in his way there, so you see it kind of collides. Uh, they did kind of cut out a little shape for it, but still, it just doesn't allow too much upward movement. You can look down a little bit. Head can do a full. 360 arms can do a full 360 they can move in and out you got bicep rotation you do have a double jointed elbow so you have nice full range of movement there you got wrist rotation you have waist rotation it's quite snug on my copy legs can go forward that far they can go back about that far before things get in the way outward you can do the full split and then some you got thigh rotation you have due to transformation a nice deep knee bend going on there the feet cannot move up but they can move down and you have ankle tilted as far as the wings go the wings are on a hinge you can kind of angle those back leave them straight out do whatever you want there and that is pretty much it now as far as accessories go he includes his uh, two target masters here we got sunbeam and zigzag you know, not much to them. You can see we got nice purple and red and white motif here with zigzag. Looks like he's holding a gun. And back here, you can see a little flip out barrel. No articulation except for the gun barrel that flips out. That's all you get there. And with the zigzag, just done in black and yellow with the face painted in white. Again, no articulation, you just have the flip-out barrels for the weapon mode, and that is pretty much it. And that is how Needle Nose looks with his two little partners. And for comparison, here it is with the uh, Battlemasters rung from Siege. You focus, camera, you focus. There we go. Just so you can see how that works out. Now, why can't this guy have everything that this guy has? I'm sure you're going to say, because this guy has his own budget. This guy is an accessory and has to work within a deluxe budget. So that's why that can't happen. If you ever get a chance to run your own business, you will find out what the word budget means really quick and why that word is so very important. Whether you're running a mom and pop business or a multi-million dollar company, budget never stops being a thing except it. 
And I know people are going to complain about, oh no, the hollow forearms, oh no, the hollow legs, oh no, that's terrible. You know where that plastic went? Right there. <laughs> Again, budget. It never stops being a thing. But anyway, of course, we can give him his target masters to wield. You just flip out the barrel, and voila. Big double-barreled blaster, which he can hold thusly. And you can flip out the barrel here on Sunbeam. There he is in his gun mode. Very simple transformation. Not a whole lot to it, but he can pew pew bang, bang pew pew bang bang, and all of that good stuff right there. And of course, if you want, you can combine them. This is what they call the Evo Fusion. But uh, you just combine them together. There you go. A triple barreled blaster again. All things you can do if you want to do it. The joint are kind of they're, 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 they're snug enough that he can hold them up. So that's a good thing. Um, if you want to be really weird and a little you know, kind of cruel, I don't know if this is cruel, but you know, you can always take them and just kind of hang them off of his wings, you know, like that, you can just kind of, <laughs> just carry his buddies along on his wings, I don't know, hey, things you can do if you want to do it, I don't know, hey, whatever you want, as always, it's yours, display it however you wish, however you wish, you know, I know, we all know, things, things and stuff that we can do if we want to do them, but of course, these guys are bluish compatible, yes, they are bluish compatible, blah, blah, so we can take one, there might not be enough space for this. There is not, so we'll have to, we'll, we'll have to work this out. We'll work this out, we're gonna work this out, we're gonna make this work. Oh, we'll make it work, oh, oh, we'll make it work. Okay, there we go, we can do that, kinda. Still a little snug, still a little cramped there, but you know what, we're gonna make it work. Now we can't hold it up, it's too much power, too much power for him to wield. But you know what, we can do that, we can do that, we'll hold his arms up, and we can do a big old triple needle nosing. Bloosh. You know what? I'll work with it. I'll work with it. So there you have that. And now for Comparus Hunt. Here he is with Earthrise Megs. So you can see how that works out. Here he is with Armada Starscream. Just because. And here he is with... Earthrise, Starscream, so, there you go. So that is basically it for the robot mode, so let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's, so, first thing we need to do is work on the upper body. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the arms, rotate them out at the bicep, bring the arms up, and there's a tab on the forearm that will go into a slot right there into the shoulder. So bring that up and tab it in. Second verse is like the first, rotate that out, bring that up, and plug it in, all nice and plugged like. Once we have done that, we're going to open up his chest. We're gonna bring up these shoulder pieces, rotate the head down. Now you're gonna take the entire shoulder assembly and just rotate it up like that. Then we're going to close up the chest and lock all of that into place like that. Next thing we're going to do is take the legs and rotate them in like so. And we're going to bring the legs up and there's a tab that will go into a notch right here at the side of the body. And I don't know if you can see it, but there is a little tab right there, which will go into a notch right here in the elbow. So just bring all that up and just push that in like that. Bring the other leg up, get that all tabbed in, push that all in, get all nice and squozen, like so. Once you've done that, take the toes and just point them back, and you got that all done. And now that we have that done, we're going to take this whole backpack assembly here and just pop it up. It's on a double hinge. Just take it and swing it back, and you have two tabs, which will go into slots right up here, and just... Bring that down, get that all locked in, get it all nice and scrozen. You can bring those wings down. And once you've done that, take this whole nose cone section here, just untab it, bring it forward on the double hinge, bring it down, snap it into place. Make sure everything is all nice and scrozen. And there you go. There you have Needle Nose in his alt mode. Wow. Wow, get over here. That was impressive. He spun all the way out. Anyway, here he is. 
in his jet mode. You can see very reminiscent of the G1 figure here. So pretty simplistic, you know, pretty much robot under a jet, but you know, it is what it is. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at the detail. You got some red here for the cockpit. Again, you got some more of that blue. Got the gray, you got some silver and some nice metallic color here on the wings, Decepticon symbols, got the tail fin going on as well. The tail fin is a separate piece I can come off because reasons. And they have the back, little toes pointed out. There's the top, there's the bottom, visible a lot. It covered his head at least, but visible everything else in Drome. <laughs> <laughs> covered everything. <laughs> everything is exposed but the head, which is kind of funny. But he can slide as flying things slide. Hooray for sliding, flying things. And for comparison, uh, here he is with Armada Screamer. And here he is with Earthrise Screamer. And there is definitely a big difference here between these two, as you can see. But there you go. Now, as far as his little buddies go, yes, you can incorporate them into the jet mode. Of course, the simplest way being just taking them and plugging them right up under the wings. Just peg them on thusly and thusly. You could totally have that going on if you wish. I guess if you wanted to, you could actually remove that, take them, plug them up here. Again, things you can do if you want to do it as always it's yours display it however you wish and plug this up here i don't know have that going on why not dare i say why not hey why not things stuff we can do it you can do it you can do whatever you want but another thing we can do is we can take a sunbeam here you want to plug them into the uh, forward most ports so plug that in there and we're going to come back here. We want to raise this whole back section. We want to open up the feet. Oop, open up the feet. You stay where you're supposed to. There you go. Open up the feet and you can see here that you have these two tabs right here. And they're going to go into the two slots right up in here. And you can tab these guys in like that. And, oh, oh, sorry, wrong slot. So you want to do it in, you want to uh, plug them into these, these two right here, the ones that are right behind the thruster. I was plugging them into the wrong one. My apologies. There you go. You can do that and just kind of makes like some kind of weird extended thruster deal thing. I don't know. Again, things and stuff you can do if you want to do it, so. There you go. So there you have Needle Nose, and uh, yeah, pretty nicely done figure here. Um, I know nothing of this character, but um, I think they did a good job with him. The robot mode looks good. On um, the jet mode, I mean, it's you know, it's robot under a jet, but yeah, it is what it is. We get us two target masters again. You know, they're very simplistic, no articulation. They're pretty static pieces, but all in all, though, hey, at least we still get them. Maybe DNA will give us some better ones. Who knows? We'll see what the future brings. But all things considered, not a bad figure in my opinion, so there you go. Now, I picked this up from Robot Kingdom, but you can also get legacy figures from BigBadToyStore.com. As always, linked in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out my legacy playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love, Peace, Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Transformers Legacy Evolution Deluxe Class Needle Nose, and this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud! Palm in your face! Listen, Megatron, if you want to make it in this world, you got a trend. Trend? Yeah, you got a trend. It's the only way you'll survive, man. Well, how do I do that? Now, I don't know. You just got to do something trendy. You got to do something that'll make the people go, Whoa! Whoa! Ah! I guess I'm trending now, huh? See? I'm good at this.